Patrick and Alyssa here with an unexpected video because we thought we were going to be doing a video on recipes from the 1800s. A lot of people in Walmart that I do not know talk to me for some unknown reason. So we went to go to Walmart to get some ingredients that we don't have in our cabinet that would be an 1800s recipe like lard. The last Walmart we went to we walked in and there were shoplifters so we went to a different one. And when we got there there was police like, officers. <laughs> there was four cop cars outside. Yeah, and I asked the Walmart pe welcome greeter person. I was like, so are they just here like for security on Friday night? And she's like, no, there was an incident in the parking lot. I was like, oh, okay, great. We go for the food and kitty litter, because our giant cat was out. And on the kitty litter section, there was an <laughs> older lady, like she said she was 70 years old. She was fully decked out in leopard, leopard shoes, Leggings, sweater, coat, big earrings, lots of bling. You get the idea. She just starts talking to us about that she uses um, newspaper as kitty litter instead. And then it turns out she had 20 cats. 23. Which brought her and her husband, her ex-husband at the time, back together. She couldn't take care of them all by herself, so he had to come back to help her and Somehow him helping her take care of the 23 cats, plus all his cats. No. Rekindled their relationship. Yes. Rekindled their relationship. And we learned about pretty much everything else. Her life story, really. Pretty much her life story, yeah. That she had stole $250,000 out of a will. Three ways you can get money from a will, which is be in the will. Have a family agree to give you the money and to take the money. To just take it. She just took it. You're like, okay. Yep. 2.5. Apparently 2.5 is 250,000. She was talking in hundreds of thousands. Yeah, she was. I didn't realize that. Her story keeps going for like 15, 20 minutes already. It ended up being like an hour and a half. There's like no pause or breathing, so we couldn't really escape. And we learned that her son was on drugs. We thought she bought him a sports car. It raised his self-esteem. Yep. Her lawnmower and her leaf blower were hot. Which, you know... Stolen. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what it meant. She was giving us a lot of information, and then she'd she ask was. us questions too. She like, she was like, "Oh, you went to our high school reunion in this Jaguar," and then, "Oh, what car did you have for your first car?" First car back in the day. It was like really specific questions. She asked how many kids we had, where we were from, what we're our married. pet's name was, how long we were married, yeah. when did we get married. What kind and, of pet it was. Yeah, about the fifth question, it started, alarm oh, starting to go off in my head. I'm like, mm, I don't know about this lady. This doesn't seem good. This sounds like questions that they ask you when you're trying to log on to your bank account. I didn't know that. I was trying I, Well, to, I know those questions, but... <laughs> I was trying to send Pat... I was like, giving her the answers. Eye <laughs> movements. Yeah, I'm like, stop answering. Let's go. Time to leave. I was like, you want my social? Here. No, <laughs> She would basically tell us stuff and then just like slip in a question. Where did you go to high school? Well, I went to high school and blah, 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 blah. Where are you from? How'd you have me? What do you do for a job? Like, you know, very extensive. And this lady had some interesting stories. They were. <laughs> they were really interesting. And she They're just kept there. going. Yeah, like we would have left if there was a chance. But you know, well, we could have left. We could have been rude, but we're trying to be rude to the old lady, right? So, Walmart. I'm trying to like, you know, oh, and, and she got like really close when she talked to me, well, you, me specifically, both, both of us. She touched you a couple times. She touched me a lot. She touched my arm, my hand, my shoulder, my back. I was getting a, a, a slow pat down, I felt like, and her, her hands. And then she'd rotate though, like yeah. she'd touch you and then she'd walk over to me and get real close and then she'd touch you again. And her hands were always real close. You know, it was she made hands, like I tried to move. I have, she, her hands were in my face so much. I saw there was a cut on her thumb here that was normal looking, and then she had a cut here that was like brown and blackish. I don't know what that was going on, but it looked nasty. I had started at the front of the cart where you push it, you know, where Pat was, and I kept, you know, like moving back, and I ended up at the end of the cart on the other side between the cart and the kitty litter or the cat food, trying to like, you know, get away, cause, cause like. She spit a little one time and I like tried to discreetly wipe it off my mouth. Like like she was all up in your personal space with and her, telling her story. With her Botox face because apparently she had Botox. Yes, yeah, she told us about 
Botox for headaches and five hundred dollars and doesn't help. No, five hundred dollars was for the lip injections. Oh yeah. But but they only last six months, so she said it wasn't worth it. And they were confused with bee stings, but whatever. Yeah, and she got bee stings right after her lip injections one time, and then she had giant lips, and then men hit on her, and it was a problem. Lots of stories. Italian men. But Italian anyway, men. She kept going on with stories like that. Yeah, and then throwing in those targeted questions. Mm hmm So. Except somebody and wasn't picking up on it. Getting close. Liz kept trying to tell me about it. Like, well, I don't know what to do. So finally, Alyssa starts walking away. We moved the car. We're just walking away from her at this point in time. And she's like, oh, where are you going? And she starts following us and tell, telling us more stories. Towards the end of the one, we're like trying to get away. She starts telling us that we should not have credit cards and that she doesn't use them because people steal your identity. And she only uses cash cards like the Visa $100 gift card things yeah. because you never know with people these days. She's like, you know, if you take any lesson from this conversation here, just learn this, that you should not use your credit debit cards for anything. That is literally what she said, almost word for word. So, this lady was obviously very good at what she did because yeah. she was all blinged out. And then she <laughs> ran out of Walmart after that. <laughs> yeah, she, she basically, it. after after a conversation, she's like, near and left Walmart. Like, she's gone. Completely gone. After she got her names, which I tried to not tell her, but... Pat volunteered them. Yeah, I did. Well, my name's spelled differently, but whatever. He volunteered mine. I was gonna give her, like, my middle name or something yeah. that she couldn't find me by, but... So, she tells us that you should never have credit cards and you should only use cash cards because people steal your identity. So she's pretty much just, like, throwing it out there for us, like, This is what I'm doing! Hello, I'm so good, I'm telling you what I'm doing, and you still don't get it, because you're dumb. Well, maybe she felt bad because we were nice to her. Listen, it makes you like, yeah, I could see your identity, but I won't. Because we got along well. That's a nice thought. She was nice. But no. She could be friends with us instead of thief. Yeah. She also said, I'll probably see you around. In court. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, we leave the conversation and we go around the back part of Walmart as to avoid her, just in case. But like I said, you she know. was running out of Walmart and we saw her, so... Oh. We figured it out pretty quick. We were like, oh, she left. But I didn't know that at first, so we were taking, you know, the long way around to avoid her at this point. And um, I was being kind of quiet. And Pat's like, what you thinking about? And I'm like, did you not get that, Pat? Get what? Exactly. I was like, she asked, what's your first car? Where'd you go to high school? What's your pet's name? Where are you from? How long were you married? Common and small talk, I think. Yeah, Pat thought she was being nice. I was like, these are all questions. I didn't Security give her, questions. But I didn't give her anything like my car number or my social is what I said. You know, like nothing. Yeah, so he's like, we're good, it's fine. And I'm like, no, they have car scanners. They can scan your thing just if they're close enough to you. And she was definitely close enough to us. Yeah, that's what freaked me out. I was like, oh, really? And she had her <laughs> hands in her, these jackets, like doing weird stuff. I'm like, there's definitely a possibility. <laughs> So, apparently, Pat didn't know about this stuff, but so then he started freaking out. He was like, what? I didn't know that. And I was like, how did you miss that? Yeah, so we went straight home after that, and I was yeah. like canceling cards, paying some bills. So that's what we've been doing, bills. yeah. 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 Paying leftover bills in case our money disappears, and changing credit card numbers, shutting down cards. Just in case. Yeah, but like, it's just a sad story. Cause like, what if she really was a nice cat lady? Or what if maybe she's a thief? What do you, I'll never know. Maybe you guys comment down below what you think. Maybe we're just overreacting. Let us know what you think. Was she a crazy cat lady that was lonely? Or an identity thief? She's definitely at least- Who's a, also lonely? No, uh, just she's definitely at least a thief because she stole $250,000 and her lawnmower and her leaf blower are hot. No, that's true. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. That was our night at Walmart. I think everything else was relatively normal for the next 10 minutes before we beelined it to our car. Since she knew what car we had though, I was slightly concerned about going out into the parking lot. I was going to pull a bunch of money out from the ATM, but then the police officers were out there were like, maybe we shouldn't do that in the parking lot with 400 bucks. So, uh... yeah. Anyways, if you liked the video, you know, leave a like, comment down below, give some feedback what you think about the story and so about the lady. 
subscribe and hit the bell if you want to hear more stories and see funny DIY projects and fun things to do. Alright, have a good one guys. Bye! Bye.